Hello, this is Bear from Everywave, and welcome to the Crypto Weekly Update. As always, we're going to start with Bitcoin, and then we'll walk our way through Ethereum, Solana, and perhaps some other coins, Binance, and we'll see what to do now. As always, uh, I'll not, I'll try not to edit the video at all, so you guys can also see the the process and the thinking process, and hopefully, gain some some value from it. As well as obviously, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna save me uh, a lot of time, and I can uh, invest that time in doing more videos, which is why. So today is Sunday, Monday. So tomorrow we're gonna you're gonna see the stock update. So I highly recommend to subscribe if you're not, if you want to stay updated, or else just uh, tune in tomorrow for the U.S. stock market update. Now, speaking of U.S. stock market, and it also in a way correlates to to cryptos as we track cryptos against the dollar. I want to bring up here we are on the CME Fed Watch tool, the probabilities for interest rates. And we've had last week a jobless claim, and they were with that more unemployment than expected. And uh, unemployment is good for the economy, as absurd as it may seem. But um, as you can see here, we are still for the J June, this is June 2024 meeting. Admitting we're still analysts are still targeting a high probability of no more than one interest rate um, cut. We are right now at 5.5, and uh, they're still targeting 525, 550. So as for June, the market are still pretty much pricing in this this news. Now, if we take a look at further on in the future, so if we take a look at September here, you can see how analysts are, st are starting to, to target rate cuts. So eventually, uh, we could see something happening around that time. So after after the summer holidays, and that's going to be interesting to play out. But if we do see an interest, I mean, if we do see more than one rate cuts by that, will be already Q4 of 2024. Then at that point, as you can see here, we could see this happening, this playing out. So with, uh, as you can see here, a weaker dollar and further upside into Bitcoin. As you can see, this will be June already. So ideally, I mean, the if if the market is pricing already, as you can see here, I'll, I'll bring up just in a second. If the market is already pricing no more than one rate cuts, if not, all of them the market is as soon as this comes out the market is already reacting to it so everything you see displayed here is already a reaction of this news if this number is going to change then we can see a reaction accordingly let's say if we do get in the i mean we still have a over a month for the next fed interest rate decision and uh, if this number is going to increase, then it's possible we're going to see a higher Bitcoin, higher stock market, as it will be a weaker dollar. So it's going to be interesting to see. But one thing I want to point out, the market are um, efficient. They usually hold through the EMH, efficient market hypothesis. So we could expect, I mean, this is already priced in. Now, that, that's basically what I want to say. And I'll go over it again in the stock market video now. Nothing been said, let's get into the count for Bitcoin. Nothing has really changed. So nothing's really changed, really. And uh, I I think back in um, yeah end of April, I was probably, I mean, I was considering this way four. It, we, we went lower, but still, I, I think I might have mentioned it last week. I was looking for a three of a move into a complex. Now it looks like as this equality, as you can see here, this at fifty-eight thousand is equality of four against two, and as I like, as I say many times, correction of the same degree will tend toward equality. So I, we could expect wave four to tend towards equality in, in magnitude to wave two. Now wave two was sharp, so we could have expected a sideways wave four. So, so far, so good. It's plain now. Now, ideally, now I want to see for today again, it's Sunday. Today, close uh, 
no lower than there we are right now ideally above 65,000 I want to 65 has the 55 oh sorry 65k to hold and at that point we could see for their upside mm, number one target would be 80 and then 100 but 80 I think it's it's more um, of a target as we also have maybe it's hidden but we have no, definitely not here we have uh, 1.618 times length of 3 against 1 which is very common target for wave 3s at 679,000 so that's why I would expect 80 to hold now I actually zoomed out um, this morning on the weekly so that's a weekly if we take a look at volume on the weekly we can see how we have been averaged here sorry here we've moved down for, for three weeks with lower volume and now we're pushing we're trying to push back up with increasing volume so that signals a bullish move and I again I would like to close above 65,000 for this week so today today Sunday again and uh, volume is suggesting a bullish resumption we're gonna have to see as you can see here we found support on previous highs previous all-time highs and um, volume is suggesting that now take a look at RSI we topped in I mean delete volume we topped with RSI on the highs many times we usually have at least one divergence what does that mean we make a higher high on the chart but we fail to do so on the RSI at least one it's usually what happens if not more I like to see three usually that personally my, my, my preference but um, at least it's very rare to top both on the chart and on the RSI let me give you an example we had top RSI here which was here we topped here that was the RSI so usually RSI indicates you know weaker momentum and then you get the turn so we could that, that that's all in favor of a further upside when it comes to Bitcoin here and uh, again first target would be 80,000 eight is uh, a fib number and uh, I also explain it and then in addition to that as you can see here way three this way three minor three is shorter than one so five must be shorter than three as obviously way three cannot be the shortest now let's take a look at ETH with ETH um, it's a bit challenging so the good thing is we found support of 3000 three is also a fib number and uh, here I've th there's been a debate I don't know if this is way three or this way three but as you can see here if we take the length of two the quality of this way four this wave two would be here so same reason at Bitcoin it makes me think and I had it I had something like this basically which would have been a very shallow wave four a minuet four here so I think that's possible this looks corrective I think let me just check if it can be a diagonal or a contracting diagonal yes it can so the only yeah it could be only be a, le a leading diagonal into either wave a or one to the downside let me label it for instance can still be a leading diagonal contracting one other than that I it looks corrective it looks like a complex same as Bitcoin so I do remain bullish and I would expect again it, as they tend to move together one more leg up that would be wave minute five for for uh, ETH and that would be minor five for Bitcoin and then a pullback into larger wave four same as Bitcoin so that's what I expected with ETH. Now with volume is a bit different. Uh, we're lacking volume to the upside. 
so that's not ideal but again volume depends on the exchange even though they I checked all exchanges tend to move together it varies on quantity so the number of of, of um, coin per contracts not coins contracts purchased but uh, it, it uh, they they move together different quantities same direction so uh, let's take a look at Solana now which is also another one that we like to track here um, so I guess you could have a case for a five wave move you should investigate this way three you could say it's I mean it looks like a textbook uh, five wave move to be honest if you look at like like this also volume unlike Bitcoin hasn't really pumped back to the upside uh, but uh, I would I was pairing up to this wave uh, two. Now we did react off 200 as expected, so that's not a big deal. I mean, it was all expected. A large numbers will attract large orders. So ideally, as long as we stay above 100, we can still see this wave four playing out. Now it could be something like this. I don't know. Uh, could we have a bottom in place? Possibly, I wouldn't bet on it, uh, but it's possible. You know, this looks like a sideways too, so we could have a sh more of a sharp way forward. That's possible, and um, it also would make sense as again they all tend to move together, so that's a possibility. But uh, nonetheless, we're, we're gonna have to find out. We could move up in wave B. And that would top with a uh, wave five for Bitcoin, and then pull back for wave C, and that would mean, uh, you know, uh, a wave four in Bitcoin. That's also possible. So let's also take a look at quickly Binance, which I haven't really looked at in a long time. And as I can see, I did have a some sort of a triangle, a B, C, D, and E maybe triangle here it looks like it's it wants to move higher that was the overall count let me delete the volume here one two one two three four five so as you can see if we do top here then we could expect this wave uh, four to play out which same thing as what we would be expecting for um, for Bitcoin if not then what could happen is we are top in wave one minor one there you go of five uh three so we pull back in wave two that will buy us time for the other cryptos and then we zoom higher that's also possible bullish but possible so those are the main um, scenarios that i see here for larger coins um, as always, let me know down in the comments. And uh, I almost forgot if you want to join the Discord, it's completely free. And uh, you can uh, share your ideas in there, ask me for questions, and interact with uh, other people. And you'll find the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to miss any updates. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.